I guess all started back in 2008 with one of our members who really felt it was important uh, to try to honor the individuals that have fallen in Afghanistan. And from there, uh, Dave Sofa, the name of the gentleman, came forward and in consultation and collaboration with Kin Canada and our foundation, uh, we thought it was important to bring the tour across the country. Uh, over the next year, uh, it's going to be uh, going to all the communities uh, where uh, our Canadians uh, during the mission Afghanistan have fallen, as well as other major events with the hope of raising uh, large amounts of money to go back and support the military members and their families. Uh, in addition to bringing communities closer together. It's been my life for two and a half years. Um, I've been very, very successful in my airbrushing over the years. For 38 years, that's all I did was airbrushing. But um, this I knew had to be done in oils. I've done numerous paintings for our veterans and uh, I've designed and uh, sculpted up uh, medallions for our veterans, for uh, our DF veterans. Um, so, but I knew that this was different. This is uh, what's going to keep our remembrance alive for many, many years to come. It's been overwhelming, overwhelming. Um, some of the uh, some of the soldiers have broken down and cried in front of me. And, uh, <laughs> actually, I shouldn't just say them because I've done a lot of had a lot of tears here on myself. And when you meet the families, you can't help but have tears. A couple of days ago, I was saying with the families that I met. My right shoulder was soaked. And I was honored, really, truly honored, just to be, uh, be able to do this. My goal after the tour is um, I'm building a peacekeeping, peacemaking NATO museum. And we will tell those stories from uh, Korea through to today. We'll have a small segment on World War I and II. But the most it, I want to put across is there's a lot of stories where our soldiers have been in um, Bosnia, Somalia, uh, Rwanda, where nobody ever knew, nobody knew about those ones that uh, died during that time. Uh, but I want to try to get those stories out, so, and in a way that kids can interact and like just read the stories. They had a few moments to view the portrait for themselves, and I think you will be just as surprised as they were at what an amazing job has been done here. The Kingsmen and Connect Clubs of Cornwall are very honored to have brought this to the city of Cornwall, and we hope that you will feel like the same way when you see the portrait. <laughs> Uh-huh.